Several locations will see a rare solstice annual solar eclipse in 2020 on the same day as the June solstice. This rare astronomical event will happen only two times a century, in June 21st, 2020, and on the same day and month in 2039. What is a solar eclipse? A eclipse of the sun happens when the new moon moves between the sun and the earth, blocking out the sun's rays and casting a shadow on parts of earth. The moon's shadow is not big enough to engulf the entire planet, so the shadow is always limited to a certain area. The area changes during the course of the eclipse because the moon and earth are in constant motion. Earth continuously rotates around its axis while it orbits the sun and the moon orbits earth. This is why solar eclipses seem to travel from one place to another. There are four different types of solar eclipses. How much of the sun's disk is eclipsed? The eclipse's magnitude depends on which part of the moon's shadow falls on Earth. The partial solar eclipse. This occurs when the moon partially obscures the sun's disk and casts only its penumbra, the partially shadowed outer region of its shadow on Earth. An annular solar eclipse takes place when the moon's disk is not big enough to cover the entire disk of the sun and the sun's outer edges remain visible to form a ring of fire in the sky. An annual eclipse of the sun takes place when the moon is near Abergi, the point of its orbit that is at the greatest distance from the center of the earth, and the moon's antumbra, the lighter part of its shadow, falls on earth. A total eclipse happens when the moon completely covers the sun, and it can only take place when the moon is near perigee, the point of the moon's orbit closest to earth. You can only see a total solar eclipse if you're in the path where the moon casts its darkest shadow, the umbra. The hybrid solar eclipse, also known as annual total eclipses, are the rarest type. They occur when the same eclipse changes from an annular to a total solar eclipse, and or vice versa, along the eclipse's path. Solar eclipses are only visible from within the area on Earth where the moon's shadow falls and the closer you are to the center of the shadow's path, the bigger the eclipse looks. Solar eclipses are usually named for their darkest or maximum point. The exception is the hybrid eclipse. The darkest point of solar eclipses is only visible from a small area. In most places and for most of the duration, total, annular and hybrid eclipses look like a partial solar eclipse. For a solar eclipse to take place, the Sun, the Moon, and the Earth must be aligned in a perfect or near-perfect straight line. This happens around New Moon every lunar month. A rough alignment of the three planetary bodies happens every lunar month at the New Moon.